Yo, what's up everyone? Sevich here with another fantastic deck guide for you guys. This time today, this is the second guide in the Castle Natria expansion that I've done. And uh, this time we're taking a look at uh, uh, one of the, one of my favorite decks, uh, at least so far. I'm gonna look at the, the Skeleton Mage. There's been a lot of different versions that I've seen around, but this is one of the better ones, I think. We're only playing 30 cards this time around. I'm, I'm kind of famous for trying to play 40 card versions, but this seems to be the, like the best that I've seen so far. There's been some notable players like Meaty, I believe, has been around like top 5 legend a lot with this deck. And I'm right now, like, I've just been win streaking since, ever since I started this. I guess I had one loss on it, but I'm like 4-1 and one or 5-1 and one right now with this version, so... Yeah, I expect to keep climbing it once I keep playing this. In uh, Castle Natria, we got this new mage mechanic, which is basically the skeleton. So we spawn skeleton dudes. I'll show the basic skeleton. We're not actually playing the skeleton right now. Because it's better to just get them from the spells. Those are more powerful cards, but... Uh, volatile skeleton. So the basic idea is that we get a lot of volatile skeletons. Ton of them. 10, 20. And then we play Kel Dusad, The inevitable. And it resurrects all the skeletons. And those that can't fit instantly explode so so the skeletons by themselves are already like pretty decent and you get them from uh, from uh, cards that tend to do something else at the same time like this one for example you get four armor with, with a cold case so the sources for these skeletons that we have in the deck i'm gonna go go through them one by one because this is very important so we get the skeletons from nightcloak sanctum absolutely fantastic card you always keep it in the starting hand strongly recommend um very good with freezing. Sometimes you, you should also note that you might want to freeze your own minions uh, situationally if you have low attack minions. And uh, then we have cold case, four mana, spawn two volatile skeletons. I also tend to keep this in my starting hand. I don't know if that's one uh, correct 100% of the time, but I definitely tended to do so. It always feels pretty amazing to play it on turn, on turn uh, four. And uh, then we have Deathborn. Deathborn. Deal 2 damage to all minions, summon a 2-2 volatile skeleton for each kill, so this obviously works very well when you already have skeletons, or if you can set up your opponent's board in a way where there's a lot of 2 health minions. Uh, those those cards are the basic uh, skeleton mechanics, like I've seen somebody like try to play this, but it's really not worth it in my opinion. It is that this, these cards will already give you plenty for the Keldusad, so but yeah, that's, that's pretty awesome. Um, other cards that we're playing, we have the, we have Searing Sorceress giving us the Deathborn for 5 mana, because it's kind of tough to cast at, at 6 at times, so that kind of helps. It's also like, it, it, the deck kind of needs another 1 mana card, or, or a 1 mana card to play, like if you don't have the Wildfire. Got the Frostweave Dungeoners, because Frost spells are the most common ones in the deck. Uh, we have the Flurry, we have the Cold Case, with Deathborn. Um, so most of the time you get the 1 ones. You don't always get them, because Arcane Intellect was like important enough to add. And Wildfires, of course. If you get a Wildfire from this, honestly, you don't really even feel bad. You miss out on the 1 ones, but Wildfire is such an important card, and it helps your multicasters draw. Got the Magister Dawncrest, got the Mordress. So we have like the entire, like the Wildfire package, really. We have the important stuff. We have the Reckless Apprentice, we have the Pran, we have the Wildfire. So it's all in here. So it's kind of like, it's kind of like a Skeletons... Meet, uh, meet Ping Mage. It's a, it's a Ping Mage and, and Skeleton Mage in one. And it's been working very well so far. I've seen some versions run like Blizzard, but I've been really digging the Deathborn. Especially against other mages, you must have this or you, you're gonna be at a huge uh, disadvantage because your opponent, whenever you, whenever you have Skeletons, your opponent will just like make, the, make, uh, make their own Skeletons out of it, so. Then we have some Lady Nasir here. Usually you get five ar uh, eight armor from it, but I'm, I'm actually not 100% convinced this card is amazing. Multicaster makes sure that we don't really run out of cards. Arcane Intellect. Out of the games that i played so far, I've never run out of cards, so it's been it's been very, very strong package. Very awesome deck. One of the best decks right now. Go ahead and give it a go. Alright, alright, we're doing this. We're doing this live on Twitch. On TV. Druid. What are the best cards? What do you want? Wildfire. We don't keep a four. The one thing that I'm not sure about this deck is that we only have, we only have like two two mana cards. I think that's weird. How do we only have two two mana cards? Like we're almost always gonna be hero powering on two. Hero powering two seems kind of poopy. Be 
One once. Death born, born death. Weaning. Battle cry again, eight armor. We don't really need eight armor right now. I might just go for the cold case here, honestly. Cold case number two. Alignment. Okay. Say no way I don't do that. Like it's just yeah. Gotta go for it, chat. If we get KT the game like ends immediately. Okay, what are the odds we just win? It could be the cold case. So half the time it's like the cold case. Maybe I trade one away then. I don't think it's 50 50 because I played two cold cases and one deathborn. I actually don't know how it's coded though. Is it 50 50 or is it. Or is it 66%? Uvian! I don't know. Alright, we just need a. We just need a. Oh my god, come on. Get out of here. This is my game. Two damage from that. Oh my god! Okay, we just we need the we need the apprentice, right? Reckless apprentice, and this game will just like end. Should I play this? I think I can hold this because I so I buy more time by saving this. Okay, saving the Dawncraft because we can do it when he has a bigger board. Because this is not that big, right? This board is not that big right now. What was played first? The Naga Giant, I think? The Naga Giant was here first. If I do this and more... Oh, I can't do Mortis, because it's 8 damage. But I can do the Wildfire first, that's like a full clear. That sets it up for next turn. Oh yeah, this will win for us, even though it doesn't win yet. Bum bum. Bum dum. Bum dum. Still lethal, right? 15. Bam! This deck is good. This deck is good. Hi, Sevi. I was the druid. You just crushed my dreams. Oh no. I'm so sorry. Dream status crushed. Cold case, we do keep a cold. Alright. So my opponent might be playing the same deck. I wouldn't be surprised. I think I played against Lillin like multiple times. Yeah, it was skeletons. We played against Lillin, I remember. The 
Nice shoot. The Deathborn should be very good in the mirror match against the other same deck, right? It should be really good against the others playing the same deck. This is gonna be a lot of lot of two twos, right? Like when my opponent has a lot of two twos, I do this, and then I have a lot of two twos. Oh, okay. Oh, it counts from that too, but it. Okay, for each. Wow, that's interesting. He might do the same play, but then I have another one of the same. I have another one of the same. Oh! The Clown Fiesta chat. Clown Fiesta. Oh my god. What a shock. Oh my god, that's so dumb. <laughs> this will cast it again! Oh shit, I'm gonna get it again from here. So he can't even play if he has one more. He would just die on board. Because that's 12. Gold case from Dawn Crasp. Yeah, well, the death porn is what we would need though. I mean, but it's like, we can also just attack with this and deal 12, right? Oh, he's gonna do it. He did it. He did it. He just went for it. Oh my god. It's not even Halloween yet. There was so many skeletons. His minions would go down to two, so we couldn't, like... Death Rattle will hit the same ones twice, except for the big one. I don't actually have a spell for this right now, so maybe I don't keep it, but it would be nice to like clear totems with. But I only get two cards that could be spells. Okay, I'm gonna keep it. There's no better time for it, but I need a spell right now. Probably like 20%. Yeah, probably like something like that, actually. Because we need to hit in his face three times. Oh my god. Ooh. It's very cheesy, very creamy. Yes, yeah, I'll wait for it to like cool off. Thank you, Dean. Here. Oh, nice, nice, nice. That was huge. That was huge. Okay, maybe not huge, but that was okay. That was okay. Because if I'm playing this on turn 3 anyway, then it's kind of like, you know... <laughs> where's the value in discounting this? If I play this on turn 4 and I float 1 mana, it's kind of the same thing. What would we start with? If there's nothing to freeze, I'll go cold case. If there's something that's actually worth freezing, then maybe Sanctum. Mm, it's really close. Really close. I'm gonna do this first. Next turn we go cold case wildfire. The wildfire was a good draw, because that means extra cards from the multicaster too. Hey, Husbear69, thank you for the seven months. Loving the content. Keep up the great work, man. Thank you. Thank you very much. I appreciate the support. Imagine playing 40 guards and roping schooling on one. <laughs> oh, man. Okay. Hmm, I'm actually kind of tempted to hero up over here now. Because I had the Mortress too. And the skills. Okay, I'm gonna do that. I'll, I'll play it a little slower. Start building up the Mortress slightly. A little greedy, but... Not by that much, honestly, because that would have traded into one of the Skeletons. So we only really missed out on one Skeleton now. Distracted. Um, skeletons. Yes. 
trees, more skeletons, let's go. Mm -hmm. Don't stand in fire, that's fine. Oh, there's the arcane. Mm. Okay, after this the multicaster will draw us like maximum cards. So we now discount, but I gotta get the 2-2. Two -two. So what if I play brand multicaster, I draw 6. Would that ever be worth it? I probably wanna save the brand, like drawing 3 is pretty good. So that would just end up making me overdraw. Overdrawing is probably not the greatest. We're only be two right now. That's not enough. If you have more multicasters too, I should just do it like this. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Deathborn. I could get two Deathborns back with the Shivara. Or I could get four Deathborns back with... Oh my god. Okay. Oh no. Wait, can I not kill this right now? It's kind of yikes. That's kind of yikes, chat. Because this. Oh, one, one damage. Oh, we need one more. Just one more, but I don't have it. Deathborn, probably here. What if I shoot my own multicast to get one more? This is pretty rough, because if he starts like eating my hand next turn, I'm just I'm in pretty bad shape if he eats my hand. Such choices. Yeah, this this could be pretty awful next turn. This could be pretty awful for us. This could be very bad right now. Well, Mortress is active, but this might if he plays like I don't know, like a bad rot, like this gets more buffs. Oh my god. Dude. Yeah, that's not ideal. How good would a Deathborn be right now? By like being this one? Should I should freeze the Bol Bol Bolner. Um, I could just Deathborn and then, no, Deathborn and Freeze, I could do this first and then, shit, oh my god, this is really tough, <laughs> this doesn't actually kill that much, the Bolner gonna kill me, leaving out the brand seems like it would be a disaster too, but one of the skeletons will kill it for sure, it'll die to one of the skeletons, I'm sure. We will have like so many skeletons die, right? There's no way the brand lives. Okay, that was good. That was good. I like that. Kronuk! Thank you for the three years! Welcome back, Kronuk. Thank you, thank you. Do I have the guides thing still? Okay, we need to update that though. I'm gonna get the new expansion. Oh my god! He had like all of these. Oh no. Now my board is too full too. Is that game over? Because my board is full. I think that's game over. Because my board is too full. I mean, I might top deck like a flurry or... There's no space for this. Oh, we can make space. Oh my god, we can make space. Okay, we're still in this. We're still in this. I can make space. Because this hero bar is too damage. It's not over, it's not over. Okay, Ultanus eaten or like destroyed, overdrawn. It's not the last snowfall, it's not the last, there's 18 cards. He cannot have the last snowfall. Anything else, just not the last snowfall. There's one card he can have. That would ruin my day. Oh, okay, well that's pretty good too, but... Um, I mean, it's, I'm not like dead. How am 
much does this? I think we're, I think we're still in this. Yeah, we're actually in this. So I can do like this, and then we freeze and kill. Oh, freeze too. We can freeze both. I can freeze one with this, and one with this. Okay. Okay, still playing, still playing. I can top deck like a Kale Tuzad, because we have had like 700, 700 skeletons dead so far. Volner OP, yeah, we couldn't kill it, because it instantly became 10, 10 health. There was not much I could have done. Trying to get a new Mutanos. Please don't. Just no new Mutanos, chat. No new Mutanos. That would ruin my day. Okay. I mean, that's honestly not that bad. That was honestly not that bad, chat. That was not that bad, chat. It really wasn't. Four hours later. <laughs> this animation takes so long. Please hit the Bolner. Please hit the Bolner. No, because now I need to hero power. I really, I, I wanted to play this instead, but I can't. Well, board is clear, so that's good. Board has been cleared, baby. Yeah, I didn't even draw the Plari, which would have been such a good card. So what did I have with on this chat? What do I have? It's like... Deathborn and... I, I, I don't remember. Deathborn, at least one, one Deathborn. Two Deathborn? It might be. Wow. This is Mage Deck never lacks value. It's pretty sweet, I like it. Oh my god! Well, I mean, I guess there's not like one individual card. I guess the Sivara would probably be the worst one to lose, but... Like, I can... I, this, it's not really like just one card that's like totally ruins me, right? I still have like Arcane Intellect. Okay. Yes. I am doing this chat. I might actually save the Night Cloak Sanctum. I think I will. Do I play the snow flutter or just being face? How low is he? I could just being phased. Yep. How did the Pally perform? I went like 4 and 3, but I didn't feel very good about it. I made some changes that made the deck worse. It was like, it was, it was kind of kind of on the weak side. There might be a deck somewhere in there, but it's gonna take too long to like figure it out. If I see a cool version of the deck, I'm, I'm gonna give it another go eventually. So I only have one spell for this, it's the uh, last flurry. it's good to like note. If my opponent deals 6 to face, I'm, I'm, I'm like kinda tempted to... Well unless I have lethal, I'm tempted to... Um... Oh that's lethal for sure, right? 17 sc oh yeah. Let's go chat, I'm gonna play this first too. That was a good ass game! Holy moly! The Bolner looked like such a... 
just such a like a huge hurdle, but we got there. Woo! Damn, I can't believe there was a comeback there. That's awesome, awesome stuff there.